Hey lovelies, I'm Star here and welcome to the Hollow. I'm not completely sure what this is about. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. And I I've saved a bunch of games in like folders and I do believe it's a horror game, so I love me some indie horror games. So let's see. As my queen commands, here now is the story in its eternity. It began not long ago in a place not far from here, in a small cottage at the edge of the woods. I like this music. Oh, and the art is pretty. There lived in the cottage a huntsman with his wife, Celeste, and together they had a beautiful daughter by the name of Molly. Molly! I have a doggy named Molly. Well, actually she's my dad's dog, but still. For a time, they were happy. Until the faded day, Celeste became gravely ill and never recovered. Oh no! No, I'm so sad! It was a tragic loss. The huntsman and his daughter grew distant, neither weeping nor mourning. And then one day... Father, I'm going out to play. Where are you going? To look for rabbits in the bushes by the trees. Mm, it was only back before sundown. No, she went to play. The huntsman, busy with numerous tacks around the home, paid little heed to the sun creeping across the sky. Dusk arrived when he realized Molly had not returned. Um, I don't feel go looking for her, but his trusty hunting knife had his belt and a bow across his back. He set off to look for Molly by the forest edge. When he arrived at the edge of the woods, he found no sign of her. Oh no! Search the bush. Although there was evidence that she had played here, there was no clue as to where she might have gone. Investigate the creek. The creek was Celeste's favorite place to sit and weave flower crowns for Molly. But there was no indication that Molly spent any more time here. Hey! Over here. The fires were forbidden to enter, but there were always rumors of strange creature emerging to visit hapless travelers. Molly would have never known better than to go wander into the woods. Or so the huntsman wanted to believe. Hey! Over here! Search for the source of the words. The call had come from a small outcropping of rocks. Oddly, no one seemed to be present. Down here in the mud! Look down. What is this? Oh! Hi, creepy doll! There in the mud at the feet like Molly's little jester doll. I knew it was a doll. I don't trust you already, but that's because I don't trust dolls to begin with. It was a ragged old thing Celeste had found one year and given it to Molly. The girl and the doll were rarely seen apart, so to find it here was something somewhat alarming. I really love this artwork. Then again, I say that about a lot of games. I really, I am an art person. I love art. Ah, actually, that's what I have a degree in. Uh, I have an associate a degree in art, so I love art. Art is amazing. I'm so glad you found me. I was afraid some vermin might take me away to its burrow, and then what would you do? <laughs> Have I lost my mind? I can't say for sure, but I do know that if we don't act fast, you will lose your daughter. Where is she then? <laughs> ah, that's the right question. I'm afraid it's bad news. We were playing when she heard a lullaby from the woods. Oh no. A witch has gotten her, hasn't it? It was the same lullaby our dear departed Celeste used to sing to her before sending her to the dream well. I'm going after her. Who cares about who's doing all this? The husband knew the dangers of these woods by the king's decree. They had been made forbidden to all to enter. I am talking weird. I'm like, me, 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 me. And his daughter's lost in these woods, however, that meant nothing to him. The huntsman plunged forward into the darkness. I suppose you might say that this is where our stir... Oh no! No! Don't crash on me! Oh no! Okay, this is where our story really begins. It was going to crash. It was getting there. Part 1, The Hunt. Ooh. Okie dokie. Oh no, that... What have we here? I'm the huntsman. Who are you? Oh no, your voice is all full of bravery and courage. That's good. You're going to need it. 
I love this artwork and this music. Oh my god, I'm gushing over the artwork and the music. It's so wonderful. Oh. <laughs> you need to give your eyes a moment to adjust to the darkness. You're obviously not from around here. The name's Slaw. Like, Coleslaw? You don't look like Coleslaw to me, but okay. And this here is my part of the woods. What's a huntsman like you doing here? Didn't you know you humans ain't allowed in here? I'm looking for my daughter. Be honest. Maybe they'll help you with your daughter. Oh, you mean that little girl that came through here before dusk? You've seen her? Yeah, and I give you this for free. See that tree hollow over there? It's through there she went. If you want to find her, you best hurry on, though. Although the huntsman had met few sh satyrs in his right. Oh, satyrs. Oh, they're on World of Warcraft. <laughs> They don't look like that, though. Like, I, th I think in the World of Warcraft, they look more evil. He knew to be wary of them. I appreciate But the poets would figure it would be safer to play along rather than openly challenge the creature's intentions. Yes, let's not challenge it. Keeping a hand near his hunting knife in case the satyr. I'm probably totally butchering that, by the way, so no. Tried anything. The hunter approached the tree hollow. It seemed to grow bigger as he got nearer. Him and big enough for a grown man to clamber, clamber through. Okay, I, I guess that's a mix between climb and something else, which is precisely what he did. Dot 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 dot, and climbed out in another part of the forest. Ooh, this looks creepy. You again. Be careful. The satyr works for the Hollow Queen. She's powerful around these parts. Hollow Queen. I wasn't left much of True, I'd help you if I knew more about these woods, but I'm just a uh, head full of stuffing. Who is the Hollow Queen? Tall, dark, and spooky. Some say she converts humans' emotions. Covets humans' emotions because she can't have any of her own. Okay, whatever. Don't need to know any more about that then. The smell of a nearby fire campfire drew the huntsman's attention. In a small clearing among the trees, he spied a. <laughs> he spotted a man equipped not unlike himself. Another hunter. Oh, this artwork is beautiful! I'm gonna cry how beautiful it is. Hunter. Hello there. How strange to see another human in these woods. You're just second one I've seen today. Was the other a little girl? Indeed she was. She was in the company of a very spooky lady. However, so I took pain not to reveal myself. There are not. These are not safe woods. Where did I go? And here the hunter hastened it. Well, I suppose I could tell you, but I imagine you would then be on your way, and then how would we ever know? Ugh, know what? Why, who's the better hunter between the two of us, of course? A running gleam appeared in the hunter's eyes. Here's what I propose. There's a ballast that roams these woods. I'm hearing all these names of World of Warcraft! I'm such a weird Warcraft nerd. These are probably, obviously, World of Warcraft slash AKA Blizzard got these names from somewhere else, but I don't have, I have not heard them anywhere but there, so I apologize for being so lacky on where these names actually came from. They're just World of Warcraft names to me. <laughs> okay. This seems like a, a, a graphic novel, but it's, oh, the artwork is so pretty. Okay. Remember who, Never twist get the two of us. I can track it and kill first wins. If you win, I'll send you on a trail of the girl and her spooky escort. If I win, you must give me your bow and your knife and return home and tell all that you met that I am the greatest hunter this land has known. Don't leave me with much of a choice. Wonderful. The hunter went about preparing his provisions and the huntsman realized he had an opportunity there by the fire. On the tenant was the hunter's bow. It would be effortless to sabotage it. And with the hunter's attentions elsewhere, the huntsman had no doubt he could get away with it. Mm. Should I do it? I, I really want to find my daughter. And that would be the only way I could win, probably. Definitely the huntsman loosened the hunter's bow strap. It would crack and grow next time it would to be pulled. The hunter gathered up his gear and smiled at the huntsman. May the best man win. Oh, I feel like I made a bad choice there. 
and with that, the hunter disappeared. Although the huntsman was a skilled tracker, these woods were filled with confounding magic. Confounding? I can't. I can't read. Why am I doing a graphic novel if I can't read? But then again, I forgot what this was, so... <sighs> confounding magic that thwarted his efforts. Thwarted. Thwarted. What he took for a group of fireflies turned out to be pixies, and the trees he marked would uproot themselves and change places when his back was turned. Then came a lifting voice from the bottom of a ridge. Help! Ran over the edge of the ridge, the huntsman saw a particular sight. A creature covered in vines and leaves was stuck in a makeshift trap. Still unseen, the huntsman had the choice to get on with his hunt and leave the creature be, just as he could go down and help it, or fire off an arrow now and end it. Be careful, creatures in these woods are full of trickery. You never know which might suddenly betray you. Not to mention that every second he we spend here is another second. The other hunter is ahead of us. I really want to help it, though. I really do. Well, my queen, you should have seen the hunter down that ridge. He slid, much to the creature's surprise, and by approaching carefully, freed it from the trap. The creature, grateful, revealed itself to be a dryad. Oh, again, looks totally different from World of Warcraft. For shame on me. Brave huntsman, thank you for your aid. Had you not come upon me, I surely would have perished. The trees whispered to me that you hunt the balisk. It is dangerous and elusive creature. To reach it before your arrival, hunter claims it. Follow the dry riverbed. Do not listen to the whispering trees, for they will try to lead you astray. I understand the stakes are high in this contest of yours, but I would also ask this of you. Do not kill the badless. This present is all that keeps the great hungry beast from claiming these woods as their hunting ground. They are a much fiercer threat. I will try to spare it. The spare it if I can. Oh god. The giant now free melted away into the trees, her laughter fading with the wind and the leaves. Growing used to the particularities of these woods, the huntsman grew confident that he was on the right trail. Sure enough, he followed the dry riverbed. He heard the trees whispering and could join them. Following the dry advice, he ignored every foul, taunting word. As he pushed through the trees, he came upon a remarkable sight. There was the ballast, cool and ready to pounce, but it had not yet noticed our huntsman. Now, I keep mentioning this. They look totally different in World of Warcraft. They're like a alligator type thing on there. But again, as I said, I've only heard all of these words from there, so forgive me for being such a World of Warcraft nerd and not a nerd for anything else. No, his attention was on the rival hunter who remained oblivious to its presence. The huntsman had little time to make a choice. Um, scared away. Had the situation not been so dire, I would have laughed to see the huntsman make such a loud and terrible ruckus. The ballast, taken aback by the sudden a corophonious burst turned tail and slittered back into the woods fast as lightning I had him you scared him away he has our scent now we'll never again find him then there is no contest I suppose you are right I saw the little girl and the spooky woman head yonder through those trees the hunter pointed to a nearby corpse of dark and foreboding trees I said that right I said corpse Topsy, I suppose. Best of luck on your hunt, friend. I don't think we will meet again. The huntsman, tired of these games and grateful to once more be on the trail, his daughter thanked the hunter and gathered his things. He left without looking back. Following the trail given to him by the hunter, the huntsman found himself in a ring of thick trees with no obvious way forward. Well, no. Does our tracker need some help finding his way? Another Satari. Satyar. Appeared before the huntsman, my queen would have recognized this one as Rudness, but the huntsman never did learn his name. After all, at this juncture, what is a man of the hunt such as yourself to do but follow the breadcrumbs laid before him, so to speak? You work for the Hollow Queen, don't you? We're all servants of the Hollow Queen. Even you, in your own bumbling way, contribute to the workings of her will. She the one that took my daughter? To be entirely honest, I don't think take is the correct word. If your daughter is with her, then she must have gone on her own will. 
Which way do I go? This forest is full of roads that lead nowhere and back it around and up and down until you lose yourself forever. Luckily for you, I happen to know which road you need to travel. There are trees here that are hollow. When a doubt climbs through to your path, and you cannot find a hollow tree, I simply ask the nearest Satar for help. That the Satar stepped aside, revealing a tree hollow behind him. He gave a bow and flourished, inviting the huntsman to step through. The tree hollow grew in size, drawing the huntsman in until he once again found himself in the darkness. Oh no. Part two. Forget me. Well then. That actually seems like a very good place to stop. So, I, 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 I don't know what's going on. I downloaded it because it probably looked nice. That's why the artwork and the music are beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> but, obviously, there's some really weird magic going on here, you know? And... But I, I, uh, I like it so far. I like it so far. So, I, I'm, I, I'm not really good with visual novels, I should say, but I like this one so far. So, yeah, I'm going to end this part here, and I will see you lovelies next time. Bye-bye. Da-da-da. Okay, there's going to be more. Um, let's try that one more time. One more time. One more time. I swear to see, there's something here, but whatever. One more. One more time.